Sixth fewest in the turnover department in the league. And defensively, I talked about defensive coordinator, second fewest points allowed. Their first in field goal percentage defense. So you have to make the most of every chance. Yow, quick catch and shoot. Well, that, close to the rim. By well, that time, he went from week to, you know, a lot of times players coming in after a, a great player like Kobe has a bad night. The next team that he faces, they say, oh, my goodness. Now the mismatch. And yeah. Uh, I'm an elevator. Let me tell you something. He saved his elevation for that jump. He says it hurts him a lot to jump. Well, it must have hurt quite a bit that time. Yao makes it now 12 to 4 points in the paint with that basket. He's got 10 already. He's also been able to get to the free throw line where he's got four of his 10. So Lakers down by 5, 19 14. Down, so he's getting some, some extra rest in that regard. Still looks like he's playing in Denver right now. Raver Alston leaves it off. And Break down defensively for the Lakers. 23-18, so even though Kwame made two free throws. Luke is right-handed, and that really makes you wonder. If he takes one more dribble, he might have freed himself up for a shot. On the switch, Lamar recovering. The out, fall away. Shooter's touch. It stays in. Yao has 22, so right on his average. Smush, leaving it off. Kwame blocked away by Yao. Yeah, you got to dunk on Yao. You can't <laughs> hope to just throw something up your cue. And don't try to avoid contact. It's off Kobe after it was deflected by Yao on a hot pass he wasn't ready for. I had it 60. So Kwame at three for four. And he's got nine points to go along with four boards. Yao asking oh. for it. Kwame gambled. And I'm glad Lamar didn't get close to it. That would have been the fourth on Lamar. Yao's got 25 of the Rockets, and they get it done to the offensive end. McGrady got Kobe out of position. Here's Yao. Pace, hey, Bush has eight. And Kobe's got to hope that that continues because that's going to free him up to do things that he wants to do. As long as they're making shots, they can't leave him. Little baby hook by Yao. Yao sets up shop. What a touch. Kobe shooting and being that aggressive, but he doesn't want to see 50% of his shots. As you mentioned now, Yao, little baby hook. And Tommy posted up early and they found him. A two-point game. See what happened. Now it keeps it as a one-point, uh, one-possession game. High screen and roll. Kobe drawing the attention of three. And now the Rockets with an opportunity to take the lead. And the shot clock of the game clock only separated by nine seconds. That's the good thing for the Lakers. McGrady for the lead. Way strong. Jawan Howard by himself. And Yao gives him the lead. Nobody accounted for Jawan Howard. Timeout Lakers. 22.3. And it's now the Rockets who dictate the tempo. Exactly. That's what that three free throw possession did for the Lakers. It put them in a real bad position. Made them come up offensively and have to score. They didn't. The Rockets come back. Offensive rebound by Juwan Howard. And an easy pass to Yao Ming. Won't advance it. In scramble mode. It'll be a three coming up from Kobe to tie again. Not close. And the Rockets will beat the Lakers in overtime by three. What an effort down the stretch by Kobe and the Lakers. But a couple of critical mistakes with the foul and the turnover. Yeah, the one play that turned this whole overtime around was the three free throws. The three-point shot where Kobe fouled Tracy McGrady and then coming down, coming up dry offensively. That was it.